Right, yeah, the next art even. I don't think there's that many left of these. Um, I think there's only a couple left, so then I'll just have to start going through the other stuff with Mike on the show. Um, but yeah, this is the next week. Shetty does the weather. <laughs> Let's go. You know, speaking of disgusting human beings, uh, our meteorologist, uh, Mike Boschetti, is out. Uh, weather is a big story. So we've had Mike out all week. Uh, it's probably the biggest uh, uh, weather uh, situation we've ever had for a Super Bowl. Look at those teeth. And he's out there. He has bright, uh, fake white teeth. Mike's that teeth he had look in different. He they had look different today. Mike, you did, you, did you do something with your teeth? I, uh, I went to a great... Uh, yeah, actually, I went uh, to a celebrity dentist today, Art. Who Earl. was that? Uh, he did Rodney Dangerfield's teeth, Grandpa Walton's teeth. I thought it was... Now, is that true? No. Is that not I, the Benjamin I, Moore white sample? Art, I just seen my butt, my, uh, my other half. Well, maybe my other Your half. Your other half? Yeah, she just came by now. Oh, you mean the chick you picked up the other night? Well, I don't know if you call it that. I want to be nice about it. What do you call her? Uh... I don't know what the uh, situation is right now. Well, what is it? You you were doing this the other night, and you told a couple of witty jokes, and you picked up a girl that came into the studio. She's hot. And what happened? Uh, she was I'm a hot. gentleman. I don't kiss and tell really hard, you know. Well, 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 what, well, what just happened? You said you, you she gave saw me a nice her. hug. You're she standing. Really... You're standing in front of the hotel that she's staying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, which is kind of, I'm not saying what a hotel is. It's some place in, in, Mid in Midtown Manhattan, actually. Well, he's banging his chick from Bayonne, right? Wait, so it's kind of creepy that you stand in front You're of the hotel. You're standing right in front. Like, you've moved in front of that hotel to do your no. weather, right? Well, uh, yeah. Actually, Bill Curtis from, if Bill Curtis from American Justice were here, I think we'd get a great episode. Actually, I'm, up, I'm sharing a penthouse with her up there. Her name was Bethany. She was, a, she was an innocent girl from Florida. She came up to cover the Beach Bowl. Her PR firm said, it'll be good for your career. She walked outside the Best Western in Midtown Manhattan and saw a disgusting man. Someone you could only describe as a wild boar had gotten loose. Well, she thinks I'm hot, I think. Making uh, her judgment Mike. awful. No, no, guys, maybe uh, you guys are... Little, I, I, think she, I think she does. Well, so what just happened? Why, did, why is she not standing she had to go back to beside work. you? She had oh, to go she's back working to work. now at, yes. at 10, yeah. 10, 13? I mean, she had, she had to go back to work with the FBI. No, guys, everybody's busy with the Super Bowl week. We, you guys know that. Did she hop in the car? No. She's in town. Was she offered cash? Uh, not possibly. Screaming, crying, Bethany went back into the hotel and called the authorities. That man has the maddest voice I've ever heard. That's a mad voice. It sounds like it's being... I mean, it is being microphoned, but I mean... This sounds like there's an effect on it. Jesus. Yeah, let's go. She said he won't leave the outside. But the weather's, uh, I think for Super Bowl, I got a great prediction for the Hey, weather. you did your teeth differently. No. You no. did them differently. No. The back glare, the back glare from his teeth was uh, no, blinding. No, no, I'm looking, I'm going to show cars in, in, in the Midwest right now. You are trying to cover your teeth with the windscreen of the microphone. You now. look like a character in Fargo. Oh, which I hope it's William H. Mason. They're longer, they're coming down farther in the front. Whatever, guys. You yeah, know we gotta go out. That's true. We gotta go out you to Lake. You can't hide them. You we, can't hide them with that windscreen. <laughs> we gotta go out to Lake Wanaman. We gotta go out to Lake Wanaman. Oh, they're longer. We're gonna buy some bait I, fish. I, shop, I sharpened them into fangs. We're gonna no. buy some bait fish in Lake Wanaman, Toba. <laughs> Mike, what is that white stuff in the corner of your mouth? I don't know, Art. That's it's, disgusting. It's, it looks like frozen mayonnaise. It's, 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 it's oh. being frozen out here for the past eight days. <laughs> it looks like you ate mayonnaise and it froze. No, uh, it's, no it's from being it out looks here like for eight days. a frozen without, uh, mayonnaise reservoir. I, I love food like sex. You have <laughs> gnats are ice skating on. You've oh, yeah. affixed your teeth. Hold on. Maybe, hey buddy, maybe it's you? what maybe it's what holds the teeth there. Um, not so well. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry. Uh, are you going for anybody in the Super Bowl? See how he handles this. Uh, no, I don't. I don't even know the first thrill of the Super Bowl. Oh. Oh. Okay, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, feel better. Take care. Mike, that was yes. a fascinating interview. I know. <laughs> Mike's not equipped for that fucking situation. 
Although he should have just started asking because that man obviously wanted to talk. Mike just panicked. Oh, all right. See you later. That, that nuts are ice skating on. I was going to say before that, Mike's off the cuff, random, spare of the moment interviews are f just genius. I love that when they're talking and he just goes, Hey, buddy, <laughs> how do you think the weather is? <laughs> You've oh, yeah. affixed your teeth. Hold on. Maybe, hey, buddy, maybe, how it's you? What, maybe it's what holds the teeth there. Um. Not so well. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry. Uh, are you going for anybody in the Super Bowl? Sherry handles this. Oh uh, no, I don't. I don't even know the first thrill of the Super Bowl. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, feel better. Take care. Mike, that was yes. a fascinating interview. I know. Why I didn't you delve a little more? Yeah, no, he didn't look like he was like like going through some stuff. So, yeah, yeah, but Mike, you got to delve a little more. No, was... I don't want to get punched in the face out here. Oh, you could have taken it. No, I don't know. He looked. See, Mike's a good person at heart. He looked like he's going through some stuff. I didn't want to, you know. It's just so sweet. It's so sweet. Yeah, let's go. Like you knew Krav Maga or something. Asked him about his years on that. <laughs> <laughs> like he <knew> Krav. <laughs> Jamie Park. Very nice. No, he didn't. He looks like he knew Krav Maga. That boy did not know. Look like he knew Kraft Maga, not in the fucking slightest. If anyone like Kraft Maga is like one of the most deadliest fucking martial arts. It's like what bouncers learn, I think. And it's like the fucking kill you shit. Mike goes. <laughs> he looked like he knew Kraft Maga. <laughs> There is nothing about that boy that's that said Kraft Maga. Let's go. Let's hear, uh, let's hear the real weather. Okay, the well, first city. Uh, first city is um, Big Tussle, Oklahoma. It's uh, overcast high around 50 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow. Mm. Nice. Now, I know you prepared weather jokes, which go over well. It's how you picked up the girl. Um, we all know as a comedian, the worst uh, thing is dead silence, and you never get that. So uh, let's uh, let's hear your first weather joke that you wrote for tonight. Okay, Audie, it's so cold outside, Barnes and Noble are burning books to keep their customers warm. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Okay, great. That was great. <laughs> Audie, I got another weather report from the great Ken Cole, actually. Yeah, okay, do, do, do some more weather now. <laughs> some more what, Art? Weather. Okay. Weather. Actually, it's a great report from the great Ken Cole. Weather. <laughs> what? Um, weather. No, it's Ken Cole. Uh, what are you talking about? I, that's what the copy says. Well, just do a weather report. No, it, it, I got to read it about him. It said Ken Cole uh, taking some me time for himself in Hawaii right now, and he said the weather over there is a uh, Kanawalapi Beach, Hawaii. Uh, That's not it, Mike. Canal Beach Beach. Can I beach? Can you be my oh, hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, <laughs> can, my can, hello, bye. Can, can Alley be beach? <laughs> some beach in Hawaii. Uh, what's the weather there, Mike? Okay, uh, some clouds high, scattered showers, possibly in the afternoon with high 54. Now, look, I... Oh, 83, I'm sorry. I love Hawaii as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to get myself involved in a weather report. This is brutal. I don't want to get involved in on-air talent, and Mike is as talented as they come. Reminds me of a gal I had in Wanamantoba, Michigan. I gave her the, the, the little uh, vernacular nickname of Whack Job Wendy. And she went on to make quite a bit of money for herself. And now Mike has immortalized me by putting me in his weather report. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you, Ken. 
<laughs> okay, is that hey. the official weather? Uh, in Hawaii, yes. Oh, no, there's more, there's more cities. Give us uh, one more weather report. Okay. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good. Who are you going for in the Super Bowl? Uh, Denver. Good, yeah. Uh, what anyway. does that mean? You're a Denver fan? I don't know where you never told us that. Well, you know, you got to, you got to, you know. So you're adjusting for the fans? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thing. That was fall. I know, kissing you're some bucks. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. give us a, give us a. Kissing some bucks. Okay, okay right now in uh, Bummerville, California. Bummerville? Yes, it's uh, partly cloudy, sunny skies, high 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, now uh, let's hear another joke. This is okay, a professional uh, comedian, Mike Buschetti, took all night to prepare for... How, who does this? Al Roker doesn't do this. No. Here's another weather joke from Mike Buschetti. Audie, it's so cold right now, Bill Maher found his heart. <laughs> All right, Mike, great job, buddy. Thank great you. job. <laughs> I, I felt like Michael Coleon was No, that was great. Yeah, yeah. You said let all the laughs go. Yeah, now, what other cities? <laughs> that was good. No, uh, uh, this is big. No, I did feel like I was getting ready to kill Salazzo waiting for the train. I hear the train. It's always good after you tell a joke when you can hear the train. <laughs> no, it's out there. Uh, we're right by the, right by the subway in Midtown. I town. understand where you are, Mike. Audie, uh, you know what you're... <laughs> I think we heard the train on West 78th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On 7th Avenue and 78th. Like, uh, a, a, train in, a train in St. Louis. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're in a train in uh, 98th Street and, and 3rd Avenue. Uh, Audie, it's your... <laughs> It's your tradition after the Super Bowl to go to Mount Rushmore. Do you know that? No, so why don't you go? <laughs> uh, no, but the temperature over there is uh, it's pretty bad. It's kind of, kind of sunshine and clouds at 31 degrees Fahrenheit. It's sunshine right now? Partially clouds. And clouds? Yeah, 50, 31 degrees Fahrenheit in uh, Mount Rushmore. That sounds south nice for Mount Rushmore. Oh, did I say north or south? Oh, wait, no. Okay. <laughs> Mount Rushmore, uh, South Dakota. Jowl Roker. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, go ahead. Now, we'll give us another city. Okay, oh, you want, I thought you wanted a joke. I'm sorry. All, All right, right, well, it's whatever you want. You want to do another okay, joke? Because, yeah, I sure. mean, the jokes are going great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right, got another joke from it, Jal Roker. It's so cold right now, Starbucks is charging 20 bucks for a refill. Who's on the show tonight, Mike? Okay, uh, tonight, uh, tonight join us in studio, uh, actor, comedian, TV personality, the legendary Tom Arnold. Yeah, Tommy Arnold, uh, funny guy, man. Yeah. Uh, stop by in the second hour, great friend of the show, film critic, an, ent an entertainment reporter, and he's a diehard Knicks fan, the great Ben, the great Ben Lyons. Yeah, Ben, a regular on the show, we love him, go ahead. And, uh, Coming in tonight, he's uh, one of our favorite people on the show. Joining us third, in the third hour, co-host of NFL FM's uh, network, the great NFL guys. I'm sorry, NFL AM. Let me, okay, 
Guys, you're very stop, trigger stop. happy on no, that start puzzle. Start from the beginning. Those odd uh, tells them to keep their hands off the puzzle. Well, trigger I can't happy. do that, Mike. They're doing their job. <laughs> Not really. See, they did it already, Odd. That's <laughs> part of their job, Mike. <laughs> no, part of it. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go to their stop off. There's like 10-year-old kids over here. Let me like... Okay. Sure I'll get on them again. I'll stay out here two hours. You guys can buzz me. I don't care. Well, that's, that just, what, do you make, what makes you think we don't want them? Hey, I don't think we got the proper pronunciation still on... Uh, well, we, we, well, I, I got to be able to say it without them buzzing me. Okay, say the last guess. Okay, uh, join us in the third hour, co-host of NFL AM and NFL's network, the great Mark Kriegel. <laughs> Guys, I read, I read them what I'm, I'm writing, I'm read, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what I'm, it's on copy, guys. It's on copy. I, I think I, I screwed up with this one. I got a feeling you're going to Mike, you said me. NFL, NFL's pronunciation still on. Oh, God, listen to that one again. This is fucking hilarious. Oh, it's good. I, I, I'll get on them again. <laughs> I'll stay out here two hours. Or you guys can bust me. I don't care. Well, that's, that just, what, do you make you, what makes you think we don't want them? <laughs> hey, I don't think we got the proper pronunciation still on the... Uh, well, well, I, well, I, I got to be able to say it without them buzzing me. Okay, say the last guess. Okay, uh, join us in the third hour, co-host of NFL AM and NFL's network... The great Mark Kriegel. <laughs> Guys, I read, I read them what I'm, I'm writing. I'm read, I'm, 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 I'm saying what I've What's on copy, guys? What's on copy? I, I think I, I screwed up with this. I one. got a feeling you're going to. Mike, you said it. NFL's network. I said it's, it's not NFL. It's not Join, possessive. I'm like sorry, that. guys. Let me finish my speech. Go ahead, Mike. Thank you, guys. Join your third hour, co-host of NFL AM on the NFL Network. Great Mark Kriegel. Perfect. Mm. And that's it? Oh, uh, yes. You have one more joke? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's so cold right now. Alcoholics Anonymous is giving them their members bottles. Oh, God. I forgot what they're giving them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Bottles of uh, blackberry brandy. I'm sorry. I thought they were going to give them Jack Daniels. Oh, now you're ruined it. Now you're ruined <laughs> it. All right, Mike. Well, listen, uh, great job. Thank you. How do you feel it went? I think it was good. My friend came by. She's so... Oh, well, we'll get her up here again. I think she's in the protection program. No, no, I'm... No, no. Mike, go to the front desk. Say, listen, my friend Bethany asked me to come by. She wants to... She wants me to come up to her room. What room is it? Oh, no, no, and no, no. And if, no, if, if they ask why you smell like shaved Romano cheese... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Say it's a jacket you haven't washed in a while. Blame no, it on no, the no, guy. no, no. She's a she's a sweet girl. Okay. Just, just go ask the front desk to give her a call then. No, and no, say, no, no, John. And, and that, invite her. No, don't push her a woman. They're gonna, hit, you know. Eight 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 nine three six eight eight two two. Eight 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 nine three six eight eight two two. When we come back, the great Tom Arnold and Mike. You can stay there. And a professional would stay there, but you can do whatever you want. I know you have I to get ready. Stay. Yeah, well, you have, have to get well, you have to get ready for Opie and Anthony next week. I understand. No, yeah. I'm gonna be out here having fun. <laughs> Get ready for Mike on Opie and Anthony next week when he tells more of these great jokes. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on direct. That's actually Mike and Anthony. I still need to do his mic. Pachetti on there. I haven't done any of them yet. But that was jokes. Mike getting annoyed is just one of the funniest things. But yeah. <laughs> That's the reaction. Sweet.